saints, please join me to thank the Lord for his mercies upon my life, for my mother's womb to today, and what he will still do for me. Thursday, the 28th of March, marks, marked another milestone in my life. May his mighty name be praised. Shall we pray? Our Lord and most gracious Father, our King of kings and the Lord of lords, he that died on the cross for us, Lord, to save and not doom for us. We appreciate you this morning for the special grace that you have given unto us, Lord. And we come to your presence, Lord, this morning to express our heartfelt gratitude and thanksgiving. May you accept our sacrifices of praise and worship as we offer it unto you. May you bless our offerings, Lord, and replenish whatever that we offer in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray that, Lord, your anointing and your inspiration, Lord, will follow us, Lord, this morning. May you let your Shekinah glory come and have his presence among us, Lord. And bless us, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name have we prayed. Amen. Shall we please be seated? There are a few song requests. The first one is from Sister Wendy Yataki. She says, of God, I would like to sing to glorify the name of the Lord. Sister Wendy. Okay, the, I'll take the next one. Um, Sister Felicia AJ. A song request to the glory of the Lord. Sister Felicia. Okay.
Amen. Sorry, sorry. There's another song request from Mama Sarah, and she has a Thanksgiving offering. Mama Sarah, let's give her. Please give it up for her. Shalom says. Yeah, oh, my boy. 
number 60, each step of the way. Let's join my compromise.
Father, we want to bless your name this morning. We want to give you all the praise and glory and adoration for watching over us, Lord, through the night. And that by your own grace and mercies, granting us, Lord, gifting us with life, that this morning we can gather again, Lord, at your feet. Heavenly Father, to fellowship around the word of God. Oh, our fortress in this day is that we are living in. We want to thank you for the journey message that you granted everyone to be here. And Lord, we do appreciate all that, Lord, you continue to do for us. Even as we've gathered again this morning, we are here because, Lord, we recognize, Lord, our insufficiency. And Lord, we recognize how we need more of you every blessed hour and minute of our lives. We pray therefore, Lord, even as we lift our cups to you, may you, Lord, come down your grace and mercy and quench the testing in every soul. Heavenly Father, Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Nobody came in your divine presence and went back the same. Pray therefore that Lord reach out to each and every individual here, even those that may be listening to us online. Lord, and if there is a need on their heart, if there is a desire of their so God, you who said that before we pray, you, you even know what our heaven, our heaven Father knoweth what we have need of. I pray that may you grant it all because we have come to thee. Heavenly Father, that we will not go back the same way that we came. Can we oh, help us, Lord, to get to the place to say, indeed, it was good to be in the house of the Lord. It was good because the Lord has reached out unto me. Bless us, take control of the meetings, and let all things be done to uplift your name. This is our prayer with all faith and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 So God bless you this morning. We thank the Lord to be back to his house. Hallelujah. Many are out there involving themselves in many frivolous things. Because it's Easter time. Some have gone to the mountains to glide. Some are going to the beach somewhere. But we thank God to be in this house this morning. Hallelujah. Here to serve him. Here to worship him. And it's all because of the love of God in your heart, in my heart. So we thank God for this opportunity. David said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. So I trust that you are glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. There's no better place to be, believe me, than to be in the house of the Lord. Amen and amen. amen. So we give all God, we give God all the glory. Okay. This morning we want to continue with our team and listen to a message in line with the team being in his image. So read uh, again from Genesis chapter 1. Verses 26 to 28. And then we'll read chapter 2. Verse 15 to 17. Shall we listen to the word of the Lord? And God said, Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, 
and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. The Lord bless the reading of his word. Shall we take our seats? So once again, the Lord will bless you. And thank you for making it to the service today. We certainly appreciate every one of you. And it's always good to see the people in the house of the Lord. So this morning, we're just going to continue from where we left off. Yesterday morning, we spoke about who is God and what is his image. We saw, we saw he is that supreme, sovereign, self-existent spirit, Elohim. And in him, he had all these attributes. Hallelujah. And how he desired to manifest himself in the human race. That he will be able to manifest his attributes. And being one of us, we can then see who he actually is. And the Lord Jesus Christ, we read a scripture was the image of the invincible God. God manifested in flesh. That omnipotent God, that great eternal spirit, that self-existent spirit, that had all these attributes within him manifested himself. And when he did manifest himself, we talk about how he demonstrated humility to us. How he made himself of no reputation. And therefore, if we are to be in that image, we should strive to have the humility of Christ. Hallelujah. We should get to the place where we esteem others better than ourselves. Because that is what he did. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Besides all the power, yeah, the first, eh? omnipotency, yeah, the omniscient, yeah, and the omnipresent, yeah, yeah, and the almighty of his nature. Yeah, he had, he himself. And that should be our heart desire. As sons and daughters of God. People live in this world and they have all kinds of aspirations. And young people, I want to be like Mercy. Because that is the image that is portrayed before them. Hallelujah. And somebody here, want, a runner, wants to be like this. Oh, he wants to run like Usain Bolt. And so everybody says something before them. But as children of the Most High God, what we said before us is his image. Praise, Praise the, the name of the Lord. And in Amen. the afternoon, and in the afternoon, we talk about the First man in the image of God. How that man was a, a spirit being. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 
And God said, have dominion over everything. And we said one statement which I want to repeat. That when God the Spirit came in flesh, it did not diminish any of his attributes. His power, his omniscience, his how almighty he was, he never diminished any of it. And in the same way, when God took the spirit being, the spirit who was leading all the animal creation, when God placed him into the body of flesh, it did not diminish anything about Adam. By being in flesh, it did not diminish every any authority that God has given to him. And we saw who that first man was. He was like God. Because he was made in the image of God. Uh, he had authority over all the earth. What a wonderful thing to be. And this morning, we want to look at how man fell from that image. That wonderful image that God has created. The man that he created. That he will come in the cool of the evening and have fellowship with him. And they had a wonderful time in the Garden of Eden. How did man fall from that state? Praise the name of the Lord. Remember that the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us, all the things that are written, they are written unto our examples. Hallelujah unto whom the end of the world is come. They are written for our admonition. And so as we look at what happened to Adam and Eve, it is unto our example that when they end, that when they made their mistakes, that we living in this our day, okay. we will not make those errors and mistakes by the grace of God. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Amen. 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 So man, yesterday we said, okay. when God made man, Hallelujah. He made him his own image. He was to have dominion and subdue all of the other creation of God. And so God put him here. And God is so gracious that when he did put man here, when he has made all of this wonderful world and all of this wonderful creation and all of this marvelous things, hallelujah, and he put man here and placed man in charge. Remember before this, there had been a war in heaven and Satan his enemies have been defeated and they have been cast out of heaven so when God placed man here and he put man to be in charge he didn't leave man alone but he gave man a protection hallelujah he gave man a fortress as long as man lives within that protection, as long as he stays within that fortress, oh, he enjoyed what God has created for him. He enjoyed what God has given to him. And if today also we are going to continue to enjoy the blessings of God and all that God has given to us, we need to find the fortress of God. 
stay within that fortress of God. Stay within that defenses of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. As long as they stayed within the boundaries that God has set, they didn't give them some atomic power to protect themselves. He didn't give them some nuclear weapons to protect themselves. But like the second scripture that we read, he simply gave them his word. That was their defense. That was their fortress. That was the tower in which they were living in. And as long as they stayed within that word, as long as they stayed with that word, as long as they were abiding by that word, oh, nothing could touch them. Think about it. The beautiful God of Eden. All the wonderful creation that God has made. Everything that he has made, the Bible says he saw that it was good. And after he has done all of it, oh, he needed somebody to be in charge. Hallelujah. So he made man in his own image. He didn't commit it to any animal. He didn't commit it to the lion. Or, or the tiger. Or the elephant. But rather he made man in his own image. And he said, I want you to take care of this. And in taking care of this, this is the fortress that I've given you. This, this is, is the defense that I have given you. To protect that which I have given to you. Oh, God has given us so many precious promises. And we ought to protect it. He has given us his protection. So let's listen to what the, the prophet said. Hallelujah. In the message, the identified masterpiece of God. Praise the Lord. Now, and when he made Adam, that first man, how perfect it was. Adam, Oh, he looked like God. Oh, has somebody seen you? And, and, and maybe they don't even know who your daddy is. But when they look at you, when they see you, and they say, wait a minute, young man, can I ask you a question? Is so and so your daddy? Oh, yeah, no wonder. You really look like him. And I thought as much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when when God God made Adam, 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 Adam looked like God. Adam not only looked like God, but everything that Jehovah God was, in terms of the entire universe, he placed portion in Adam oh, to take care of this earth. Whatever he desired on this earth, that was exactly what came to pass. And yesterday, we talk about how knowledgeable Adam was. And that we don't believe there's any man in this world today that can get any close to the wisdom of Adam. Because if I should ask you this morning yeah, my people living here, to okay. name maybe 20 best, I go tell you for you, oh, you okay. struggle to name them. If I talk about that, or to I name 20 to fishes in the ocean, oh, you struggle to if name I them. Say, or to identify the vegetables and trees around. Hello, Che. For fun, you are Think about it. She come on. It took one man. To name all of this creation. Because God brought everything to Adam. And whatever Adam named them. So they were. Oh, God had no objection. Whatever Adam called them. So God will say, Amen. So be it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He was like God. God, the great Holy Spirit, brooded over the earth. And the birds come out. The animals, different things, kept coming more in the form of, of, of the one that was brooding. 
they, they, they stuck, they I'm kept bad. coming. I'm come here, come here, come here. Until finally, okay, they come a gray species. Okay, now, now, uh, uh, now, Just exactly like the one that was doing the brooding. God, 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 God was, God. a man was in the image of God. God. Then when he plays him in this great garden, and the prophet talked about the work of Michelangelo, Michelangelo that when he finished his work, he didn't leave the sculpture of Moses in Samali. Where nobody will see it. But he plays it in the most conspicuous, beautiful place. Where people can see his masterpiece. Oh, hallelujah. So when he plays him in this great garden, like uh, Michelangelo has placed his great life's work. God places his handiwork in the garden of Eden. Made him a helpmate. What a complete satisfaction it was to God. Till even he rested. It was just at rest. His work has been finished. Notice. This is one thing you bear in mind. That God gave this man a protection. Hallelujah. God gave this man a protection. He didn't just say take care of it. Oh, hallelujah. But he gave him a protection. So that what he had committed into his hand. Hallelujah. Will be well protected. He fortified him inside. Ebuwe. Inside of his word. Because he told them what they could do yeah, and what they could not they do. Only, I mean, so he fortified them by no. his way. Hallelujah. He didn't keep anything away from them. Hallelujah. He gave them his word. And as long as they kept that word, as long as they stayed with that word, then all that God has bestowed upon them, it was full. Nobody could take anything away from them. And church of the living God, nobody can take anything away from you. When we stay with the word of God, when we abide in the word of God, oh, Satan will be no match for the believers. Praise the Lord. In the message that the dedication of Christ in all ages, the prophet said, remember in the beginning, the only, the one, the only fortified that God gave Adam and Eve was to stay behind his word. Oh, hallelujah. That was the fortification no, God gave them. No, 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 to stay behind his okay. word. I mean, you must, I mean, you must a believer, a son, a daughter, a child of God today, oh, God has given us a mighty fortress. I say he has given us a bulwark, a mighty fortress that nothing can penetrate it. No devil can penetrate that fortress. No nuclear weapon can penetrate that fortress. It's a fortress given to us by God himself. Oh, hallelujah. Hey. And as long as we stay in that fortress, as long as we stay behind that fortress, child of God, you are safe. It doesn't matter what the witches do out there. It doesn't matter what the wizards do out there. It doesn't matter what the devils do out there. Oh, we have a mighty fortress what? in the word of the living God. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. God gave Adam and Eve was to stay behind the world. In the message at trial, the prophet goes on, God fortified his children behind his word. And the very first time you step from behind it, the very first time you step from behind the word, God has given us his word as a fortress. You don't have to reason it. All you've got to do is to believe it. So when the end becomes, just lift up that standard of the word. He may shoot his arrows. Oh, hallelujah. But it will just hit the word and fall down. Because you are standing behind the word. No matter what the devil says. No matter how the sickness is striking you. Oh, we have that fortress. The fortress is that by his stripes we are healed. The fortress is that his God that healed all our sickness and our diseases. And as long as we stay behind that fortress, and we believe that that fortress will never fail, no man may build a fortress, but because it's man made, oh, are you sure this will hold? Are you sure this will stand? I remember all those years during the Gulf War. Iran. Iran. Iraq. 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 And Saddam Hussein built himself all these fortresses and all these bunkers. Yet they were able to break through. Because what did the Americans do? They had one, one missile. Just struck it the first time. And immediately after that, a bigger one came. And it broke that fortress. Oh, but this fortress that God has given to us. Oh, as long as we uphold it. As long as we hold on to it. No devil power can break through that fortress of God. He fortified them behind his, his way. Hallelujah. And the children always got into trouble. Hallelujah. When they step from behind it, then you are a target of the devil. But he can't get you as long as you are fortified by the way. Oh, let us sing into your heart, my sister. Let us sing into your heart, my brother. That he can't get you. Satan can never get you. The devil can never get you. The witch can never get you. The wizard can never get you. Oh, the juju man can never get you. No the devil can ever get any child of God. As long as you are fortified by the word. As long as you are holding that they word. Oh, had Job never gave up on that word. Job, Job, Job was fortified by that word. Oh, so no matter what the devil did. He said, I know my redeemer is alive. I know my redeemer is alive. Satan, you can destroy this body. But I want you to know. Yet in my flesh. Oh, yet in my flesh. I shall see my Savior and I shall see him for myself. Not somebody will see him and come and tell me, but I will see him for myself. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was Job's fortification. Hallelujah. Amen. When his wife said, Why don't you curse ah. God and die? So oh, you speak like a foolish woman. The Lord gave. And the Lord has said, Blessed it. be his own name. Job was fortified behind Job his way. Praise the Lord. Amen. And God help each and every one of us. Try to our team of him. As long as we are fortified by the word, Satan can never get you. 
And so when he made man his image and placed him in the garden of Eden, like we read in Genesis chapter 2, he gave him his word. And that was their fortification. That was the thing that was their protection. So no matter where anger the devil came from, all they had to do was just lift up the word of God and say, this is what God said. I may not understand Understand it. I may not know why he said it, but as long as God said it, oh, I believe it, and that settles it, and that should be the attitude of every child of God. Don't try to explain the way, don't try to reason the way, but all we have got to do is to believe that way and stay with that way. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. That is all what the word says. And that is what we know. Don't try to reason. Oh, the devil will come through a smart way. So are you telling me if if anybody if anybody, all these many, many people, oh, have thrown the teeth on the cross. He wasn't baptized. And Jesus said, you'll be in paradise. So you make too much about this water baptism. And you try to raise it with you. It's only a symbol. It's only symbolic. So what I do, you do it no, in the I name of Jesus Christ. Or you do it in the name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Che, che, Whichever way you do it, 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 it is only symbolic. Don't let I the devil deceive you, my brother. It is not symbolic. Yeah, it may be symbolic, but it is a godless symbol. It's not a man-made symbol. And when God gives us a symbol, he expects us to stay with that symbolic gesture. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As long as you are fortified by the word, he can't get you. He will throw doubts at you. He will try to spray you with unbelief. But when the word is resident in you, Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When I visited Brother Jacek in Poland, he gave me some little posters. posters And I love this one, which I placed on my Bible. Say, hide God's word away in your heart. Then God will keep that word. Hide the word in you. And then God will keep that word. That word becomes your fortress. That word you are fortified with the word. That word becomes your spiritual immunization, inoculation. Hallelujah. So no matter what the devil sprays you, the word of God becomes a repeller. It just repels the devil. It just repels the devil. Because you are full of that word. And that is what he gave Adam and Eve. In the message, the conflict between God and Satan. The prophet said, but if they would have stayed, just stayed fortified with the word, but if they would have just stayed fortified with the word, let the word be their fortress. Then see, they would have been fortified. They would have been they would have been behind the word. The word would be in front of them always. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Right or left, thus says the Lord. Oh, let the word be before you. Hallelujah. 
Let it all, let your say always oh the Bible says. Nani dan e kona nika di abusaka ne baloka la ko ningo yomo ke. The devil will like to say oh this is what our church believes. Abusa vas mo loka ko no no wa so for wa so for our church teaches. They will have been fortified. Okay, I mean Stay no say for the Left or right, thus says the Lord. Now of our Left or right, thus says the Lord. Whatever they come up with, thus says the Lord. This is what the word of God So I don't care whatever you say. Well, I respect no, maybe your reasoning. No, but unfortunately, your reasoning is contrary to the word of God. It doesn't go with the word of God. Hallelujah. It's contrary to what the Bible says. So it may sound reasonable. No. But I cannot take See, it. That should be our portion. That should be our portion. That should be the way we stand. Oh, blessed be his holy name. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. In the message, putting on the whole armor of God. The prophet goes on. Now we find out that God gave his children the best. He didn't give them something that he could improve upon. He didn't give them something that there was something better somewhere. But remember whatever God has given okay. to us. Okay. He gives his children the very best. He gave his children the best. And therefore he don't have to improve it. He never changes. He hasn't changed one bit. Since the first time he gave for his children's protection. Hallelujah. What he gave them for their protection the first time is always and has always been the best. There was war in heaven. He had to kick Satan out. Then he, God, came down earth and fortified his children with his way. Oh, hallelujah. Fortify his children with his way. And that was the best that he gave his children. There can never be anything better than the word of God. It should be our absolute in everything. It doesn't matter what the denomination says. It doesn't matter what the doctor of divinity says. It doesn't matter what the theological seminary says. It must be what the Bible says. God's word must be our absolute. And more importantly, the revelation of the word in this our day. Not just the word, but the revelation of the word. That ought to be our absolute in this our day. Then we can go on and say, oh, it was so easy. It was so easy. It was so easy. It Amen. I want to ask you something. Just think. The prophet goes on. That's okay. My people look cool. If they did not, why she was standing in this great fortress of his word? Satan was on the outside trying to use some kind of technique to get her out of there. For as long as she stayed behind the word, everything was fine. Hallelujah. And as long as we stay behind the word, as long as she stay behind the word, as long as Adam stay behind the word, as long as Eve stay behind the word, everything was fine. Everything was running in harmony with God. Praise the name of the Lord. That is where we make our mistake. We make our mistake. When we get from behind the way. Oh, so I believe all Bible believers think in that way. We get from behind the word. 
then we are in trouble. But as long as we keep the word, and don't get ahead of the word, let the word be ahead of you. You just let it go first. And you just live right behind it. What will it do? It plows the ditch. It plows the ditch, levels it. And you just walk in it. That is the way it goes. Let the word be ahead of you. Don't try to get ahead of the word. But the devil will have all kinds of reasons. Oh, you know the first person. That actually saw Jesus risen. It was the women that oh, went to the, the grave side. And he even told them, go and tell my disciples yeah, yeah. that I am alive. So they were the first preachers. They were the first carriers of the gospel. Oh, what a good reason the devil will give you. But when Paul, God called Paul, he told us why the woman cannot be a preacher. Because it wasn't the man that was deceived. But it was the woman that was deceived. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. But they'll give you, oh, they have also got the Holy Ghost. I don't doubt that they have got the Holy Ghost. But if they have really got a genuine Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will make them keep the word of the Lord. God's Holy Ghost cannot work contrary to the work of the word of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So remember when he gave them his word, that was the best protection he gave to them. And as long as they kept that word, there was no way Satan was going to dislodge them from where God has placed them. Amen. Amen. In the message, a trumpet gives uncertain sound. The prophet said, you know, we always have to improve. So he talks about the old plane that they used in the First World War. They were all the propeller type. But the second world war, they were having jet engines. And now the ones that they just used in the last war, these first ones, they are obsolete. They don't need them anymore. They have just got jets. And see, you are always trying to improve. And that Hallelujah. Amen. And in all the 70s, and in all the 80s, there was all the arm race. Everybody's trying to do something to scare the other one. To deter the other one from attacking them. And so they keep improving their defenses. Americans have what they call the drone shield. So once the missiles are in the sky, oh, they get intercepted. So man is always trying to improve. Improve their radar system for detecting planes coming. And so man wants to make a, a, a stealth bomber. The radar cannot detect it. But what is man doing? Scared of one another. Always trying to improve. To improve on the team for defense. But you know what? God don't have to improve. Oh, hallelujah. America is always trying to improve. Russia is trying to improve. France is trying to improve. 
Everybody is trying to improve upon something. But God don't have to improve. God gave his children, his soldiers, the very best thing that he could give them. When he gave them, what did he give them? He gave them his word at the Garden of Eden. That was the very, very best. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Nothing more than the word. Nothing that came from the Bible schools. The theological schools. What we want is the pure, unadulterated word of the living God. He gave them the very best that he could give them. And so don't think that there's anything better than the word of God. The God's word is the best that we can have. And so we must learn to stay with that way. We must learn to believe that way. We must learn to hold that word dear. We must have that word in our hearts and our souls. Oh, become a written epistle. Oh, be immersed in the way. That when you are walking on two feet, Oh, be the Bible walking on two feet. But when the word is in you, it repairs away every unbelief. It repairs every seed of discrepancy. Blessed be his holy name. Amen. He gave them his word at the Garden of Eden. And man was to fortify himself behind the word of God. And no devil can get him. Brother, no devil can get you. As long as you stay behind that word. As long as you stay with that word. As long as you stay in that word. No devil can get you. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he has to go past the word first. Yeah, he has to go past the word first. Before the devil can get to where you are, oh, God has placed the invisible barrier. The greatest fortress. God has placed it right in front of you. And as long as you stay behind it, and you let the word do the leading. Hallelujah. Let the word do the leading. Don't get ahead of the word. Always stay behind the word. Oh, what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? And that is all we try to echo from this pulpit here. That let the be your God. Don't accept anything else. Because any other guide will lead you astray. Oh, but God's word like we sing. Oh, we have tested it. We have Tasted it. We have tried it. Walk, walk, and walk, walk. we know that the word of walk. God is true. Jesus said, yes, Christ, okay. Heaven and earth will pass away. Okay. But his word will never be released. Blessed be his holy hey. In the message, the seed of the strippers, the prophet said, But, okay. but we find out. Well, God gave his children his word for their defense. We have no other defense than the word of God. Oh, hallelujah. Church, we have no other defense than the word of God. We have no marriage. Nothing can defend you than the word of God. Oh, it's always so happy, gratifying. When you are talking to somebody, and you say, by the Bible says, oh, by the Bible says, oh, by the Bible says, you break down everything that they are saying. Because if they also believe in this Bible, they cannot go contrary to the word. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. God bless brother Nat of blessed memory. From evening light message tabernacle. He always loves something he said. 
It's more no When you start witnessing, he always asks you, Do you love Jesus? Of course, I love Jesus. Say, You know what Jesus said? If you love me, keep my commandments. So let me tell you some of the commandments of the Lord. Because you have already committed yourself that you love Jesus. Are you sure you love him? I love him. Hallelujah. Because he died for me. Because he did it for me. Well, let me tell you what Jesus said. He said, If you love me, then keep my commandments. So do you really love him? Yes, I love him. Then let me tell you the commandments of the Lord. And then Brother Nate will start. Okay, Jimmy Nate, I want to jump in. Okay, okay. It, it, because it. the individual has committed himself that I love God and the word of God says oh if you love me keep my commandments and he start telling you about the commandments of the Lord oh that is the best defense we have that is the best defense we have in the word of God don't try to raise it that is, it's alright if that is what you want to do if that is what you want to do, it's all right. That is up to you. Can you know? But as for me, I am only concerned about what the Bible says. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. I am concerned about what is recorded in Scripture. That is all that matters. Because whatever was written in the scriptures, the Bible says all scripture is given by inspiration. It's given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for correction, for reproof, for instruction in righteousness. So all scripture, so, so long as it's written in the Bible, well, you may think it doesn't matter. But as far as I am concerned, as a child of God, it does matter. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have no defense than the word of God. This is our defense. There is no bombs. No bombs, no shelter, no hiding places. Wherever it is, whether in Arizona, California, or wherever it is, yeah, if I know you, there's only one defense we if have, you know you are, and that is the word. You know you Hallelujah. There's only one defense you know we you know have, and that is the word. You know you Satan can never break through the word. He will try to reason it. it. He will try to misquote it. He will try to misinterpret it. He will try to misplace it. Oh, just stay with the simplicity of the word. That is the only defense we have. So as long as they were in the garden, as long as they were where God placed them, and as long as they stayed with that way, no matter who, whoever came around, whether it was a serpent, whether it was a chimpanzee, whatever it was, whether it was the devil himself, as long as they stayed with that way, Nothing could break that defense. Hallelujah. Amen. So God has given us his word. He has given us his word for protecting ourselves. Just like he gave it to Adam and Eve. And as long as they stayed with that word, Satan was no match for them. Nor was his deceitfulness a match for them. Nor was his deceitfulness a match as long as they stood And even our Lord proved it. When God became flesh, he didn't use his supernatural power. He didn't use his gifts. When he attacked him, the all he used consistently was the way. It is written. It doesn't matter how many times the devil came. He, he stand was written. And church, hallelujah, it doesn't matter how many times the devil came to you. Your defense, my defense, is, it is written. The devil doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. And that is where we want to stand. 
It is written. It is written. It is written. When the devil came to tempt the Lord, if we turn to Matthew chapter 4, praise the name of the Lord. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. And when the temper came in to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to be made bread. Oh, if you are the Son of God, of course, he didn't have to do that to prove that he was the Son of God. He was, the son of God. He was God made manifest in flesh. He didn't have to prove anything no. to the devil. Praise the Lord. Amen. But he came. So so if be thou be the son of God, God. command these stones to be made But he answered and said, It is written. Oh, Agma. oh hallelujah. Agma. The Lord God himself. The Lord God himself. Showing us the greatest defense that we have. The greatest weapon that we have. The greatest fortress that we have. That when the devil came tempting him. He didn't say, don't you know I'm the son of God? Don't you know I was born of virgin blood? Don't you know how powerful? Over the oceans, he didn't say any of those things. All he, he said, said was was simply, oh, it is written. It is written. Hallelujah. It is written. This is what is written in God's because word. And and that that is the defense that we have. That no matter what you're going through, oh, find a promise word. Find a promise scripture. Tell yourself it is written. Oh, there may not be anything on the table. There may not be any food on the table. And you may not know even how to feed the children that day. Oh, oh, but you tell yourself it is written. David said, I have been a young man, and I am an old man, and I have never seen the seed of the righteous beg for bread. Lord, it is written, I am not going to be the first one to break this word. But I know I am your seed. I know I am the seed of the righteous, and I am not going to beg for bread or food. Because this is what you always say. And God, I want to see you proving your way. Amen. Amen. He always proves his way. He told the devil it is written. And that is why we have to feed on the word. That is why we ought to read your Bible. That is why we ought to know the promises of God. Because when the enemy comes in, you must know where it is written. Hallelujah. You must carry with you the sword of the spirit. He answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of the mouth of God. The devil is not just going to go away. He will try another trick. Oh, so the devil take him up into the holy city. Set him high on the pinnacle of the temple. And he said unto him again, If thou be the son of God, Hallelujah. Cast thyself down. Now the devil is also quoting the so For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up. Lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. 
Satan is not an infidel. Hallelujah. Satan is not an ignoramus when the word of it comes to the word of God. But the prophet said, people can do three things to the word. They can be scorched the word. They can misplace the word. They can dislocate the word. They can misinterpret the word. And he said, as children of God, we should never do anything, any of this to the word of God. Satan was scorched the word. But it was a misplaced because the Bible also says we shouldn't tempt God hallelujah because the Bible says so you know that that is a poison and you want to take it and you don't need to do that to prove you are a child of God but if unknowing to you but if unknowing to you you inadvertently. Oh, oh, before oh, you know you've drunk something like that. Oh, then you can come back and take God at his word. You can come back and take God at his word. And Lord, you are well safe. You can drink any delicacy. It will not harm us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You know that area is infested with snakes? No, oh, let go. And you see them walking around. And so I'm going to walk I them. And so the Bible says, I will tread upon the and whatever. And that your Christianity. Hallelujah. But if you are in the farm somewhere, or if you are in the bush somewhere, and because you are doing your own thing, and are not to you, you are not even aware. Before you know something has come you, ah, no, 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 Yes, it is written. He will give his angels charge concerning me. Yes, he will give his angels charge concerning So as you go in, we go in, we can. I thought you find yourself in a terrible accident. And here you come out of it. And there's not even a distraction. Because his angels, that is his promise. He will give his angels and things will happen and you see oh it's so many people dead around you praise the lord but nothing happens god is keeping his hand i remember when i was a very young i think i was 10 years old or something and the church of Edward, we are going for uh, a convention, I think about at Winneba. Church of Pentecost, we are a convention at Winneba. So, of course, at the time where we, I was with my dad at Insuta. And so the church was going in this bus. And along the way, I don't know where it was. It had rained. The car skidded and went rolling over in the bush. I don't know how I got out of the car. I was the one that was standing on top of the car. And I got out to open the gates for the others also to get out. Some were injured here and there. But once in a while I think about that incident. I was in that car. And yet when they fell down, I don't know how I ended up at the top of the car. And was the one that opened the door for the others to come out of the car. He will give his angels charge over this. You can never explain how you come across that situation. You don't go out put doing getting yourself involved in certain situations. Oh no, yeah, oh yeah, But when you find yourself in certain situations, 
in Psalm 91. Yeah, but, 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 that was uh, where the devil uh, was quoted. That he give his angels uh, charge So he knows the word. So as believers, we must know the word. But don't misplace it. Don't misplace it. Don't misquote it. it. Don't dislocate the word. Don't misinterpret the word. That is what the devil does. So once he knew Jesus said it was written. Like, oh, yes, you, 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 Indeed, it is written again. Now you are coming to me with it is written. It is written again. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord. And God gave that promise. It doesn't mean that foolishly, as you go and stand at the top of the, of the, the, of the pinnacle, and say, oh, he said you will give his angels and charge over me, and never go and stand there and throw myself down. Oh, he will give his angels charge because over me. So when I get to the roadside, when I cast are coming on me, foolishly I want to walk across the road because he will take charge, he will give his angels charge over me. That is in the way. That is misplacing the word. So what did God do? God in human flesh consistently he applied the defense. It is written. And the devil take him up into an exceedingly high mountain. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things I will give unto thee. He showed him the kingdoms of this world. And all the glory of God. And let me say this in passing. That is why I do not believe. That as believers, as Christians, we ought to get ourselves in politics. Because the devil controls all of us. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. We belong to another kingdom. Oh, do your things as a good citizen of the country. But don't get yourself as Lord in Sodom. And get yourself as Lord in Sodom. So and get your soul consistently and constantly be invested. Oh, if you look at my few, you know, and I call film, oh, in a few, 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 you know, and I feel before you know you are just Anna, you are not before you know you have become a compromise. Oh, we all go to the church. We all go to the church. It doesn't matter. If you look at the church, and I look at the church. Standing for righteousness. Praise the Lord. Mm. So Satan controls the whole But one day, but there's coming a the time when the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdom of our God when he's going to take total control again. So but Satan wanted to give it to him and say that if you fall down and worship me, I'll give all of this to you. And, he's, uh, and then said the Lord unto him, Get thee hands behind, get thee hands, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. I'm not going to bow down to anything. Hallelujah. So it takes the word. When the word is misquoted, when the word is misinterpreted, oh, Jesus said, go into all the world. Go and preach the gospel. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. That is exactly what we are doing. Oh, let them know. Who was it only Matthew? Who recorded the Great Commission? Luke recorded the Great Commission. Luke recorded the Great Commission. John recorded the Great Commission. And how did they record it? It was in his name. 
Look at repentance and remission of sin should be preached. Look at Not in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Yet there's a name, Father, Son of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And is the Lord Jesus Christ. So when our Lord even came here, he defeated the enemy. In your Lord. Verse 11, then the devil delivered him. And behold, the angels came and ministered unto oh, him. Kabo, when the, the devil saw that, look, they, no they matter where I come they from, where I come from, 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 from the left, where I come from the right, where I come from the left, this man, it is just entered him, it is written. He doesn't know anything beside it is written. When I even quote the word, he brings the word to correct the error of my misplaced. Praise the name of the Lord. The word is our defense. Amen. Amen. In the message, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. The prophet said, Now remember this. That I make this quotation that the word of God would defeat Satan anywhere, anytime. In a place on any condition. Remember this. The prophet said that I make this quotation. The word of God would defeat Satan in any place. In any condition. The word of God alone, it is written, will defeat Satan no matter who he is. What form he comes in, where he is at, it will defeat Satan. Now that is the truth. The written word of God, it will defeat Satan. So let not be smart. Just stay simply with the word. Hallelujah. Just stay simply with the word. And as long as Adam and Eve that were made in the image of God that had all the attributes of God that had all God gave them dominion over all the earth and everything is around them as long as they stayed with the word it didn't matter what the serpent came and told the Eve. If she stayed with the word, she would have defeated him. But she didn't know how to handle the word. In the same uh, uh, message that the prophet preached elsewhere, he said, okay, well, okay. 54, Jesus Christ, the Savior, yesterday, today, and forever. But when he met Satan, to let you know that you have this authority, Brother Ray said, I want you to know as a child of God that you also have this authority. It's not just limited to Christ alone. As children of God, we also have this authority. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, God, take away every spiritual amnesia. That makes us forget who we are. That makes us forget what belongs to us. May God take away every spiritual amnesia. Especially in this Laodicea age. There is spiritual amnesia going on. Read Revelation chapter 3. Wretched, miserable, naked, poor, and the worst thing they don't know. That is amnesia. They don't even know the condition they are in. God take that away from us. That we we'll recognize we are sons of God. We are children of God. We are daughters of the Most High. We are children of the King. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 
So when he met Satan, to let you know you have this authority, he never used one of his gifts or any of his power. Satan said, if thou be the son of God, do a miracle here before me. Let me see. He said, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. He took him up to the pinnacle of the temple and quoted some scripture. The prophet said, quoted. And said, angels bear the up. Lest at any time you dash your foot against a stone. He said, and it God is also written. written. And he took him up on the mountain. Showed him the kingdoms of the world. And said, these are mine. I will give them to you. If you worship me. And Jesus said, it is written. Every time Satan comes in, he said, it is written. My father has said thus. My father has said thus. And he defeated Satan on the word of God. No. And every Christian, every Christian, every Bible believing child of God hearing my voice today, you can defeat Satan. Any place, anywhere, anytime, on the word of the living God, just say, Thus say the Lord, it is written. It doesn't matter how many times he comes. It is written. Young man at the university. Where your friends come. It doesn't matter how many times they come. Oh, they are going to come and do never stop. Just tell them it is written. Oh, they may try to call you names. Oh, you are antisocial. He is just going to see this. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't want to give any chance uh, to them. Uh, Young uh, man at the university. Oh, when others will tell you, oh, let's go party. Oh, it is Friday evening. Oh, it is Saturday evening. Oh, oh, oh just you. stay put. And say, what, 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 light, what, what has light got to do with darkness? Oh, we are all Christians. After all, tomorrow we are all going to church. That is all right. Hey. But if I want to go worship God, it's not only a church I worship him. Yes. Even yes. now he should be seen yes. in my yes. life. Yes. And that is why I cannot join yes. you. Yes. So yes. you can go all right, yes. but I can't join yes. you. Yes. 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 There is something in me. Yes. Let them know there is something yes. in your heart yes. that will not take that step. Yes. Oh, there is something yes. in your soul yes. that will not entertain yes. that yes. atmosphere. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. He will come, he will go. Young one. Oh, all the peer pressure. Because everybody is doing it. Oh, why don't you also do it? Just tell them it is written. Oh, it doesn't matter. Look, everybody on campus, look at all the... Are you telling me that all these women on campus wearing trousers, they are all going to help? I want my family to have a No. All I know, sister, all I know, my friend, I, I can't judge them. It's the word of God that judges. But all I can tell you that the Bible that I believe in tells me that as a woman, I shall not wear that pertained. That pertained woman. That pertained woman. That pertained woman. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that is why I am not going to do it. I don't even care whether the vice chancellor, the lady wears it. I don't care whether he wears it. I don't care who wears it. As a child of God, I believe the Bible is stay with the word of God. It is written. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, a little makeup was spoiled. No. So it is written. 
Does one woman that use makeup? That fix her hair. His name was called Jezebel. And you know what he became? What she became? She became meat for the dog. I don't want to become meat for the dog. Spiritually speaking, so I cannot go that way. Let them know it is written. Let them know that word of God. You don't only read it, but like David said, Oh, David, okay. Thy word have I hid oh, in my heart you. Yeah, it me. that I might not sin but against you. Let that be the way you hold the I word mean, of God. If it, then it I becomes I can, I can your defense. Your defense. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And every Christian in here can defeat Satan any place, any any time, time, on the, the word of the living God. Say, Thus says the Lord. 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 Say, Thus says it Adam wasn't Kawa. a different word. It was the same word. He gave to them in the garden. And, and as long as they stayed with the word, Jesus way. proved that when you stay with the word, you defeat the devil every time. So don't try to do something different. But stay with that word. Remain and abide with that word. So no matter the challenge. Stay true to the word. In the message, believers doubt it. The prophet said, Remember, Jesus had all the qualities of the Father in him. Do you believe that? Sure, he did. All the fine gifts of God was in Christ. His son, for he was the offspring of God. But notice when he met Satan. For your example. For my example. For our example. When he met Satan. He never used one he gift to him. When Satan came to him. He said it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. But everywhere that proceeds from the mouth of God. Satan caught him up on the pinnacle. Jesus said it is written. He took him to the top of the mountain. He said it is written. Now notice here it is. And I want you to see it. And get it now. The word of God. The written word of God will defeat Satan in any way, any place, any time. It's written, there it is. Everybody wouldn't have gifts. Jesus brought it down to the place where those who do not have gifts that do not have much faith, but they could just say, it is written. Oh, okay. There it is. Now, then stand right on okay. that. Okay. So as long as Adam and Eve, Adam, they stayed with that way. For remember when the serpent came. In Genesis chapter 3, the serpent, which was more subtle, that any piece of the field, which the Lord God had made, he said unto the woman, Ye had God said. Oh, he didn't come say, Oh, you have to disbelieve God. Hallelujah. You have to forget about what God has said. But he was even drawing the attention to what God has said. Ye had God said. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman fell. She tried to go by her own race. Yes, it's written. It's written. Yes, it is written. Thus says the Lord. Lord. Of every tree of the garden. That may yes eat freely. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. See, if you can eat it. Thou shalt not eat of it. What can you know? For in the day that thou shalt eat the rock, thou shalt surely die. The devil came in. Smart. 
Oh, no man said to the serpent, Oh, oh we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it. Neither shall you touch it. Lest you die. But you go back to what God said. He said, You shall not. God never said, Don't go and touch it. But in trying to reason with the devil, once she sleeps something in, the devil knows, Oh, she herself is sliding something in. So I can also do the same. Thing. Let me explain to her. Go and touch it. We don't need anybody to explain to us. If God says his word, that is all that you need. Oh, people say, You know why Paul said that? Why the woman shouldn't preach? Because history tells us. The Corinthian women, they were this, they were this, they were this, they were that. People died in the church. But the spirits don't die. So we need to die. People die. But the spirits don't die. Those spirits are still around. Today. And the word of God is for all generations. So yes, they'll try to explain to you. Because that is what they learned from the seminary. Trying to explain why the woman can also take the Bible and be a preacher. The serpent said to the woman. She don't care you are You shall not Ole. surely die. So once the woman could be open to reason it, all the devil did was to just inject one word, a three-letter word, not. God said you shall surely die. Say you shall not surely die. He's a good God. He's God of mercy. How can he throw people into hell? How can he do that? Our God is a just God. Praise the Lord. And that is why we believe and we trust him. For God knows that the day you eat thereof, your eyes shall be open. No man should have stopped him straight in his no, no, track. I don't know about this no, one. No, that no, 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 you are not. All he said is that the day we eat of it, that day we shall surely die. It is written. Full stop. But once he could get the woman from behind the way, and this arm her from the way, then they began to fall okay. from grace. I'm a born, 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 that image that me. God has given to them. Swear they can, I mean. That status that God has given to me them. Me. And has given them his word to protect they it. Can, Once the devil disarmed that word. Hallelujah. The fall came. Okay. And they fell from that image. They lost all that authority. They lost all that power. They lost all that God has given to them. Because they listened to the devil's lie. Don't listen to the devil's lie. Hallelujah. As long as they stayed with and behind the word, they maintain the status that God has given them. To subdue the earth, have dominion over the earth, and over every living thing that creepers of the earth. But when they move from behind the word, when they start reasoning that way, when they start thinking that they can explain the word, that is where the devil got Eve in trouble. And that is where he gets every one of us in trouble. If Satan can get you from behind the word and raise it out with you, that is where he gets you. Hallelujah. So stay with the word. In the second seal, the prophet said, 
Now the natural first bride of the human race. Before her husband came to her, she fell from grace by listening to Satan's lie. After God had fortified he fortified behind his word. If you have stayed behind the word, she will never, she would, she would have never fell. And that is in the natural. Notice. And what a curse, the actual curse of coming out from behind God's word. Remember, she believed about 98% of it. It was just one little something. And that is why we don't compromise on the way. Because we know how the fall came. That is why we don't compromise on the message. Because we know how denominationalism came about. But when the messenger has left the scene, oh, soon they are here. They take away from here. And the message is no longer pure. And the service within which the message came, the message the within which the message came. That is lost. Every age. You know, you know. Every age. You know, you know. You know why history keeps repeating itself? Because man doesn't learn from history. But as children of God, all oh, the mysteries have been revealed. The seals have been opened. And so now we have the devil's answer. Now we know why. The revival has died. Because the seals have been opened. We know why. Denominationalism has fallen. We know how. Wale. Churches become former. That is why we we'll keep screaming like a promise dream. Stay with the message. Stay in line. Don't think you can make it in this age. You can compromise on this message. God have mercy. God give us grace to stay true to every word of God. Amen. Amen. In the bridge between the seven church ages and the seven seals, the prophet said, paragraph 99, when Adam sinned, by heeding his wife's reasoning instead of holding to God's word, that's what made Adam to sin. His wife raised it with Satan and, and then produced the product to Adam. And Adam turned loose the word of God. Oh, God help us. That under no circumstance will we turn loose the word of we God. We would uphold the word of God. We will hold to the word of we God. God. But when Adam sinned, when they listened to the reason of the devil, it was a great battle happening here. When Abraham preached two messages, the greatest battle ever fought, and then wisdom versus faith. If you have opportunity, go study those messages. And you know how the devil disarmed them. How the devil took the word of God out of their hands. And once he knew that he can reason with them. And they were not going to stay with it. It is written. It is written. He was going to have them. He was going to have them. 
God help us. And that is how they fell. Because they failed for just a moment. It was a long time of disobedience. It was just one moment. Oh, for this one. No brother is here. No sister is here. Only this one. Pen. Oh, tell the devil you are a liar. Tell Satan you are a liar. I am serving the living God. That is an unseen eye. That is watching me. Whether brother is here. Whether deacon is here. Whether sister is here. Whether daddy is here. Whether mommy. Whether even they are not here. There's an unseen eye watching me. And I am responsible to the word of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They fell. Because they let down the word. Hallelujah. Let me read portions of this quote from the message, the greatest battle ever fought. The prophet said, but God, but give God's word the first place. A man can't even. And listen to the word. The prophet said, this is coming fresh. A man cannot sin. Until first he cast aside God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. Your defenses will never be broken. Don't say the devil got me. The devil got me. He has to break through your defense first. What actually happened is that because of his reasoning, he placed aside the word of God. And no man can say. No woman can say until first they cast aside the word of God. Paragraph 120, Eve could not sin until she laid aside God's word. Opening up her channel of reasons through her soul begin to raise it. And what was the outcome of raising it? It caused her to disbelieve what God has said. Hallelujah. We want to stand with the word of God. We want to stand by the word of God. No matter what. They fell because from that image. That glorious image that God saw. And realized that everything he has made was perfect. But when God decided to take a bit of rest. The devil sneak in there and, and cause Eve to disbelieve and his word. And if you can get you to disbelieve any promise he word of he has got a hold of you. My prayer is that God help each and every one so of us. They fell from that state. They fell from that grace. They fell from where God has placed them. Because they got away from the way. May we never get away from that word. When we stay true to the word, it doesn't matter how ragged it is, we will surely come out at the other end as victorious. We may have battle scars, but the battle scars do not mean defeat. It shows that you have wrestled and you have overcome. Oh no, no you couldn't. God help us all. Shall we rise to our now feet? Touch. What do we Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven.
pressing on the upward way. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. So bring it up. I'm all what Lord plants my feet on high. Oh, hallelujah. Lord leads me up. And as we say, my feet on hand, being stable If your impenetrable fortress is your word for me, if your best defense for me is your word, we all want to talk to the Lord. Happy to stay with that word. Help me to abide in the way. Help me, oh Jesus, if you abide in me. And my words abide in you. It's all about staying in the word. Abiding in the word. Being saturated by the word. 
unto everything in this world. I didn't only fail your just dear. get repelled. Get you a bar and get you much. You might see like this. Because you are saturated. Okay, oh, you book a you the word of the Lord. Oh, you book a you. Shall we just talk to the Lord? Now, can you try you? Lord, help me to read your word. Help me to stay with your word. Help me to believe your word. Take away every unbelief. Take away every reasoning. Take away any disbelief. Help me to believe your word. Irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of the situation, seeing that you overcame yourself and you were killed by the word. Help me to stay true to that word. Shall we all pray and talk to the Lord? Lord, we thank you for your committed to the word heavenly father to live by the word to abide in the word and lord let your word oh god be imbibed in every fire by him i be heavenly father lord for when you were here you overcame by the word lord you didn't use your gifts you didn't use your supernatural powers but lord you did overcome by your word setting an example for me to know it takes the word of God alone. It takes the word of God alone. Heavenly Father, to overcome in this our day and age that we are living in. So, dear Lord, I just call on you this day. Lord, I just lift up my voice to you this day. As a church, Lord, we all lift our voices to you. Our prayer, King of Kings. Our prayer, Lord of Lords. You just draw, us now. draw me now to you, God, to stay true to your word. To stay by your word all the time, Heavenly Father. Never to let go, never to compromise, never to misplace, never to misquote, never to dislocate, never, oh Heavenly Father, Lord. Yes, Lord God Almighty. And to believe your word only. Knowing that all else will fail, but your word would never fail. Oh, yes, Lord God Almighty, great eternal God. Yes, Lord God Almighty, great eternal Savior. There's none like thee, Lord. There's none like unto thee, Lord. There's none like unto thee, Lord. Help us, Lord. Take away any unbelief, Lord. It's because Eve disbelieves your way. Lord, may we never get to a point where we raise it and believe your way, but always believe every portion every promise of your ways and lord help me to hold on to your way lord it must your servant lord to always hold on to the word to know that lord there's no higher order lord than your word and that is the best that you have given to us thank you lord jesus blessed be that holy name thank you lord jesus praises be to you Worship and adore me. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Even in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Kings. Blessed be the Holy Name. Hallelujah. We want to invite our brother Robert to just come and dismiss us in the closing prayer. Brother Robert, Akron.
Shall we pray? Our Lord and Heavenly Master, we thank you so much once again for your goodness and mercies upon our lives. Indeed, you are a covenant-keeping God. You said where two or three shall gather in your name, you'll be there in their midst. Everything shows today, this morning, that yes, indeed, you have been in our midst. We are grateful and thankful unto you. We said, may your name be praised in Jesus' name. Yes, we thank you so much, Lord, that you, you, you selected us, you picked us to be your sons and daughters. Yes. Heavenly Father, Lord, we came to this world deceiving, lying, cheating. Oh, Lord, we are not worthy to become yes. your children. But Lord, you chose us to be your own. You left your glory. You left your throne. Lord, you died at our place. You became a sinner that we will become righteous. We are grateful and thankful unto you for all these things you did for us. This morning, Lord, you've spoken to us. Lord, you said it takes the word of God to defeat the enemy. Anywhere, anytime, we pray for your grace and mercy. Help us, Lord, to feed on your word. If we don't have the word in us, Lord, we will struggle to defeat the enemy. We will try by our own understanding and our effort, and we will surely fail. But Lord, when we feed on your word, yes. as we come to church, the word is being preached. We read the word, Lord. Lord, help us to become one with the word. Yes, and with Lord. that, Lord, we will be able to defeat help the enemy Lord. wherever we meet the enemy. Yes, Grant it unto us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord Jesus, yes, we desire so much, Lord, to defeat the enemy, but we can never do it on our own. Yes, May Lord. you be merciful unto us, Lord, and help us, Lord, to defeat the enemy. Help us, Lord, not to compromise in any way. We were told if Lord was standing with the word, oh, 98%, oh, just a little, then Lord Jesus, he slip away. Help us, Heavenly Father, not to compromise in any way. Yes, not Lord. to go 99% and leave one. Yes, but Lord. we should be 100% obedient to your word at Lord. all times. In the Grant name it, Heavenly Jesus. Father. Let it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May your perfect will be done in our lives yes, at Lord. all times. We thank you once again for the morning service. Yeah. The servant, you, your servant, you made use of. Yes. We ask for your blessings. Yes. May you replenish virtues, Lord, Amen. gone out of thank him. You, we commit the interpreter also into your hands. Yes, May Lord. you replenish virtue, gone Amen. out of him too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, once again, when we gather in the afternoon, yes. may you come down once again Hallelujah. and minister unto yes. our needs. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to sing number 29, I am resolved.
resolve to go all the way to the end. So God bless you. I will be back in the afternoon. As you know, from 1.45 is the sitting time. So God will bless you. Uh, Pastor uh, went to Kaswa this morning to be with the believers there. He will be back after the morning service. God bless you all. Keep praying and be in prayer, believing and trusting the Lord. Come with expectation for the service. And I trust that God will continue to bless us. God bless you all. We'll have our dismissal son, please.